Various shenanigans, raw and uncut. uncut. You understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is why Wednesday. Okay, help, baby. So we get to this interesting topic. Okay, and we hope you have a lovely day so far. Okay, blessed because you do blessed to be stressed. You okay. Know what I'm <laughs> oh. Okay, so the topic for today is called etymology. Ed etymology. 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 Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I had to think of that so I can get it right. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, anyways. So the definition for etymology is. True sense or sense of truth is the investigation of word histories. Because, you know, you know, uh, if you t ever took medical term, mm -hmm. every word has, you know, a breakdown to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like itis, uh, ology, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know. Oh. that Yeah, so <laughs> that all goes together. But our main thing, focus, is with this, with etymology, is how the English language is a curse and can yes. be a curse. And is definitely used upon everybody as a curse and to been... continue to keep people you know, in low vibration. Mm -hmm. We the, learned about that, like, start learning about that more, like, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. about, yeah, how the English language is. The way you speak to others, yes. you know, especially gossiping, because that is a form of spell work. Little do people know. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, if you're not open-minded and you believe one sort of thing, you can't just believe one sort of thing and not believe the other, because mm -hmm. they both go hand in hand. Okay. That's, like, good versus evil. Okay. Which good will always prevail. So, just as we're saying, you know, you got to watch what you say to towards others. As in, like, when you say good morning, mm -hmm. you got to quit saying that to people because that means you're mourning somebody. Mm -hmm. So, it's better to say grand rising. Yes. You know, rising to grand. Rising, yes. You know, that's what we say, rising to grand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> grand rising. Okay. And for Baca. Instead of saying hello, because hello means hell, low. Hmm. So you need to say like hi or mm -hmm. greetings or, you know, peace be upon you, you know. Simple. What's yes. up? Like, what's up? <laughs> what is up? Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is up? Exactly. Yes. You understand? <laughs> okay. okay. You ask me to be like this guy. Yeah, okay. Like when you <laughs> tell people to wake up, you know, you're supposed to say rise up. Mm -hmm. Rise up, king queens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we're supposed to be doing every day, rising okay. up. Rise up, no noise. Okay. <laughs> Ebonoids. Ebonoids. Okay. Ebonoids. okay. <laughs> no that. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying sleep, you say rest. Mm -hmm. You're resting and you should never say can't because this shouldn't yes. be, it's not even in the can't vocabulary. Be in your vocabulary. You're supposed to say I can do, I will do, mm -hmm. I am doing. I will achieve. I will achieve, okay. Mm -hmm. And instead of telling people, God bless, I know that's something I'm still working on, you know, mm -hmm. instead of saying that, you know, it's yeah. be better to say peace be upon you or yes. peace and love, yes, there you, go. you know, peace, peace and love, peace okay. and love, like you they know. used to say back in the 70s and 60s, peace, peace, peace and, and love, love and happiness and psychedelic in the 60s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And instead of another annoying phrase that people use that that they dead shit, that no, shit is not cute. You say, oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> you know, like, uh, that's funny. You yeah. could just say that, oh, that's hilarious. You understand? Or you could say, oh, mm. I was going to say, oh, I'm weak. But, yeah, no. no. That's my sentence. Like, oh, you're weak. Like, exactly. You need energy. No. You know, like, you, you need yeah, energy. That's my sentence. No. Okay. <laughs> And another thing that we learned, you know, based upon etymology, because it goes as far as back as way, you know, before the 800 and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So a lot of Christians and pagans based their, you know, a, a allegory and things oh. upon it. So 
That's why they say you got to watch what you mm -hmm. say, watch what you speak upon yeah. others because it can come back to you. And That's watch what karma. you speak upon yourself. Yeah, especially yourself. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to breathe life into yourself okay. and all I'm that light, you do. I'm love and I'm positive. Energy. Okay, that's what we say. That's mm -hmm. one of our affirmations. Okay. okay. I am all that I am. Okay, I can do all things with the divine that strengthens me. Okay. Okay. And another thing is that it, it lacked scientific method to analyze what words mean and how they come about and things of that sort. So... That's why we say more people got to become open-minded to the world around them. Yeah. You can't be thinking that witchcraft is impossible and mm -hmm. spell work is impossible because most people use it every day and don't even know. Gossiping is definitely a high form exactly. of spell work. And That's a high form of low vibrational mm -hmm. energy. So and it's all about your intent. That we are spiritual beings having a human experience. experience exactly. So with that being said. And learning that each day. Exactly. We got to, you know, be mindful of everything, mm -hmm. all things. And stay positive. Okay. And if you don't know something to be for sure, mm -hmm. that's why you look it research. up yourself. Self -ed research. Mm -hmm. We got too many avenues, mm -hmm. you know, for research. Books, too. Okay. We still have books. And that saying is true. You learn something new every day because you do. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I know that. And another note, what was that that it said? Um, the discipline fell into dis, dis, re, dis, uh, dis, disrepute that lasted a millennium when it comes to the English language and their origins. Because most of the English language was, you know, rooted from Greek, mm -hmm. you know, the Middle English, right. you know, European. Latin, Europeans, French for sure, because mm -hmm. a lot of things involved. Yeah. You know, a lot that. of things in the uh, English language comes from the Latin roots. And exactly. And Greek roots. All and that. Stuff so, like that. So yeah. that's why it's good to, you know, learn how to break yeah, down like words. Learn more and, that even more ourselves. You so. know, <laughs> learn the source of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, just like go information you receive, you go to the source. That's something we've always told people ever since we're little. You go to the source, don't come to us. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's if you know you're having problems with yeah. individual because that's what when people would, you know, do that. Mm -hmm. But no, you go to the source of everything. You got an issue, you go to the source. Mm -hmm. You go to the head. Yes, and everybody okay. tries to say there's two sides to the story, but there's always one truth. Hmm. You understand? And one half truth. Okay. Well, we say always going to be true. Hmm. So, because we ain't finna stir nobody the wrong way because we wouldn't want that happening to us. Okay. You need to look, like, to us look at things like that. Look at things from other people's perspective. Put yourself in their shoes. Yep. Okay. okay. That's how you become greater. Hmm. And with that, that is the video. Okay. Today. Etymology. That's okay. the word. And hmm. the song for today is the Bee Gees, How Deep Is Your Love. Okay. Listen to the lyrics. I really need to know. Yes. Living in a world of food. Breaking us down. When they y'all should let us be fucking bitch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. And Twinkin TV will definitely be back. What a noble boom boom. Boom, bitch. Uh